Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm about to start making a video and somebody starts crying, don't you Jen Jen? So as the title says, this is a combined car boot charity shop haul. Um, I'll do the car boot stuff first, even though the car boot was on Sunday and the charity shop haul was done on Saturday, just because I know not everybody likes clothes and everything about the charity shop was clothes. The only thing about the car boot is there's one item missing, but there were three of them and I don't know where I've put the third one because she had it. I know it's always safe, I just don't know where it is. Um, but most of it's for me, if not all of it. Um, so, you sit down there and play with your game. Mummy's right here, don't cry. I will start showing you what I bought at the boot sale. Don't pull on the tripod, Jennifer, you'll knock it over. First thing I picked up was the a sealed copy of Let's by Hollywood. Now, this was a fiver, it was a bit overpriced, but it's more for me than to sell. Of course, if you think I should sell any of this, just let me know. But it is sealed, so at least I know the game's complete, so happy with that. Starting to collect board games for when Jennifer's a bit older and wants to, come here, don't hold on to that, to play board games. I got uh, Criminal Minds Seasons 1 to 6 box set. This was £2. I love Criminal Minds. So happy to add that to my DVD collection because I still collect DVDs. I got three Wii games and they're all Skylanders. So we got Superchargers Racing, Giants, and Swap Force. I have no idea what these are like. So, but we've got a Wii and we just never use it. So I thought we'd have a go. I got some something for Jennifer. I got her a Minnie Mouse plush. Hello Mickey Mouse plush. And um, they're both from Disney World. Mickey has the stamp on it. Um, Disney themes, theme parks on it. And it says Disneyland, Disney World on the tag. But Minnie doesn't have the stamp on her foot. But it does say that it's from Walt Disney World. So. They're for Jen Jen, aren't they? They're for you. She loves Mickey and Minnie. She's got quite a little Mickey and Minnie collection going at the moment, haven't you? There you go. Bought some records. They were a pound each. So I know people don't necessarily like Barbara Streisand, but I like all that sort of stuff. So we've got the second Barbara Streisand album. No, don't hold that. And obviously the Barbara Streisand album. And then we've got uh, an Elvis LP. Uh, the Are You Lonesome Tonight? Now... There's actually more than one record in here, so I don't know what's in here with it. The Ultimate Performance is in it as well as... Are you learning tonight? So there's an extra disc in there that shouldn't have been in there, but I'm not complaining. Then we've got uh, Abba's Greatest Hits. And Abba the Album. They were all a pound. So I actually got six albums, but only five covers, which is fine. I'm happy with that. I'll leave that there. Got some cameras. First of all, now where's the items gone that go with that one? See, I'm losing everything. It was here a minute ago. And now it's disappeared. I will find it in a second. I picked up this uh, Nikon Coolpix digital camera. It's the Nikon Coolpix S3500. It was discontinued a couple of years ago, 2016, 2017, something like that. Uh, it didn't have a charger, but it was £2, so I bought it to see, because I needed a new compact. And, oh, you're going to knock that flying, I told you. No, come here. This is a problem filming when you've got a baby. Um, so it didn't have a charger, but it has got a proprietary battery. So I ordered a charger with two spares on Amazon the same morning at, before 9.30. And it arrived Sunday night before 8.00. And it does work, there's no problems with it at all. There's no memory card in it, but at the moment, but the batteries are in it. So it does work. Um, no problems at all with that, happy with that. I bought a digital waterproof camera. Uh, 10 meters waterproof, 16 megapixels, it's yellow. Um, and I bought this because I thought it'd be great when we go on holiday to um, take pictures of Jennifer in the sea. And I'm always worrying that I'm going to ruin my cameras and they're going to get wet, but obviously not. Now, where has the other items gone? 
I won't be a sack. I also bought on the same day and I found the other item now, another waterproof camera. Well, it's a normal compact camera, but it's got a waterproof housing on it. This is a film camera. It's Snap Sights. Um, yeah, no idea. Haven't looked it up, but I bought that on it as well. And one, the reason I bought this, this was two pounds, but it actually came with nine rolls of film. Now I've only got two of the boxes here. I don't know where the other box is, there are, there's another box somewhere. And it's Tesco's 35mm colour print film, 400 speed. Now I know I could sell these probably for something like 20 quid, 25 pound, because there's nine of them. But I actually still use film for testing cameras, so I'm keeping that. So that is what I got at the car boot sale. Paul did buy something, but I don't know where it is. So. Jennifer's playing with the boxes of Skylands games in. That's everything I bought at the car boot sale, so it was quite a bit. Now, I still haven't brought all the charity shop stuff open, so I'll come and get that. So I spent £29 in the charity shop on Saturday and got 23 items. So most of them were from the pound shop, although there were six dresses that cost £2 each. So I'm just going to go through pound stuff first. Nothing major, but there are some quite nice bits. Just bread and butter. So this is just Marks and Spencer. It's a size 12 silky top. I just think I love the pattern. Really nice. That one. I've got so much to lift for some reason I can't stop buying. This is Manta Ray. It is only size 8 but it's got a lovely pattern. And I think Manta Ray seems to be a bit bigger in their sizing. Because I sold one man tree top that was marked to 14 and the person said it was marked to 16 and 18. It's navy blue and it's got little balloons on it. Hot air balloons, nice little tunic top. Got, what's this? I have absolutely no idea. This is Boohoo. Don't often pick it up but it's a dress. The last thing I picked up I thought was a dress was well, actually another one of those play suits, but this is an extra large dress, apparently. And it's black and cream, black with cream detailing. It's quite nice, got a like, cream belt. Plain back dress with cream piping at the bottom and a belt. So all this was just a pound. Next is Coast, size 12. It's a pound, I'm not going to leave it there. It's a nice little ruched top. If I can just find it, there we go. That's lovely, very flattering, that. Not ruching. Will you stop playing? Are you playing with mummy's stuff? She's looking at the dresses. Next is just a monsoon cotton top. Again, it's a pound. You're not going to lose, even if I only sold it for eight quid. I won't, I'll put it on for a tenner. It's still, and it's in such good condition, it's so soft. It's a nice blue striped top. All this was from one shop, which is my favourite shop, which is the pound, one of the pound shops. Next is Zara Basics, I think, is it Zara? Yeah, Zara Basics, so not the high-end Zara. And it's a size... It says Euro Extra Small. I'll measure it. I have no idea. Probably a six or an eight. An eight, I'd say, possibly. But it's got just lovely long top. And it's just got this beautiful embroidery on it of these little poppies. It's just really nice. So there's a bit of a lint rolling over it. But that's really nice. This is, it's green, whatever it is. It's a jacket. I know what this is. This is. Uh, Jacques Ver Plus, so it's their plus size range, so here it is, the little, oops, let's get that out of the way, you can see it, plus, I haven't taken the labels off as you can tell, um, and it's just a green sort of blazer jacket with nice, one nice button on it, like that, so I'll, I'm going to put that up for 25 I think, maybe 30, I haven't looked at comps yet, but I've sold Jacques Ver Plus size tops for almost 20 quid so I'm thinking nearly 30 for that. You having fun Jen? This is another sort of jackety thing, it's next, it's a size 16 and it's just a great work jacket. 
I just think this is really nice. And for a pound, I find next signs, I got my honest, I find next sells really well. For a pound, you're not gonna lose money. What's this one? This is our uh, Truffle, Truffalic collection, size small. I don't know, is this like a nightshirt or something? I don't know. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. But it's really soft. Taller. Let's have a look. Do not tumble dry. It's not done up, but it's just like a checked plaid shirt. It's really nice. It might, might be a bit of pyjama top, actually. It's hard to have. It's really soft. It's nice. You could wear it. I, I think you could wear it as a pyjama top or as a blouse. It's that sort of style. I'd say it's not long enough to be a pyjama top, but that's just me. Something spotty now. Very tiny little spotty top. Zara Basics denim. So it says it's a USA small, so I'd say, yeah, yeah, it's probably a medium up here. It's probably about 12. It's just a really nice top. It doesn't look as nice on the screen as it does on things. It's got these little bows on the arms. That one's not done up, but I will do it up when I photograph it. It's really nice. I have no idea. I haven't looked at this since I bought it, so I've been trying to do this all for days, but Jennifer won't let me. Laura Ashley, again, wouldn't pay more than a pound for Laura Ashley because it doesn't sell very well. It's just a nice blue basic top with some ruffles on it. But for a pound, I'm not leaving it behind. There's a lot of stuff I left behind. This has got a nice print on it. This, oh, it's got shoulder pads. <laughs> Must be old. Jennifer, careful, please. I have no idea what this is. This is m and Woman Petite, size 18. It's an open jacket or cardigan. I get quite a lot of these and they do sell. And it's sort of like a black, white and grey sort of geometric print. But again, I put it on for £12, £13. Maybe a bit more. If you think it should be more, let me know in the comments. And um, see how it goes. What's this one? This is a nice blue colour. This is... Oh, that's a bit of fat face. Again, it's a pound. It's a size 12. Blue blouse or top. Very basic. I mean, for pants, it has got a pattern on it. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. Um, see if it'll focus on it. Sort of like circular pattern, different colours. It's quite nice actually. Again, I put it up for eleven pounds. See what happens. Eleven ninety nine. See what happens. I've opened to offers. Next is Pur Una, size sixteen. It's just sort of like a see-through sheer tunic top, red with some embroidery on it I think I don't know if you can see it very yeah pound oh this is a pound this is a mango jumper it's sort of like a musty yellow mango denim tees euro medium young and wild it's a nice little jumper not a very long jumper but Quite nice. Pound. Like I said, if it's a pound, I'm not leaving it behind. So no idea. This is just Dorothy Perkins, size 12. I, I just like the colour. Dorothy Perkins is one of those ones, sometimes it sells really well and sometimes it's a bit sticky. I have sold some. Next, I think, is the best of the high street, the lower end high street that sells. Uh, I've sold a few new look things, but those have mostly been mine. And this is pink. This I think is Peruna, is it possibly? Yeah, Peruna. It's sort of like, a, again, another one of those open cardigans, but this is like a hot pink or fuchsia. Needs an iron, needs a steam. It's a size 16, so it's a decent size. So that was all from the one shop. I know I've not really shown you the labels, but let's be honest, how many times do you need to see the Peruna label? You know what the Peruna label looks like, don't you? Right, dresses. Now the first one I'm going to show you hasn't actually got a brand in it. So I think it's probably like from a market stall or something, but I picked this up. These were all £2. Because of the print. I would wear this if it fitted me. It won't. It's a size 12. It's got a keyhole back. I think that's the back. But look at the print on that. 
to me it screams Alice in Wonderland to be honest you've got although it has things like headphones on it which obviously not Alice in Wonderland but it's got the tea party it's got playing cards it's also got cassettes so it's sort of like all sorts of things I mean it you know because there's like something that looks like a mad hatter on it or a hamster but it's just this mad print with all different things on it and I just think it's amazing so There's a little chihuahua on there, there's some dogs, there's a person wearing high heels. I would wear that, totally, if it would fit me, but it wouldn't. Next, this is St. Michael, so Marks and Spencer's old label. Don't know how old this is, I, don't, I haven't looked, I just picked it because I like the colour and I like the style. It's a shift dress in, uh, with a mandarin collar. And I can't find a care label, must be one in here. Doesn't look like it's been taken out of the lining, so it's probably up here somewhere. Ugh. I'm not very good at this, am I? So I'll do the zip properly, see if I can see. Yeah, there it is. So it's a size 8, so it's a really teeny, teeny, tiny one. I'm looking for the date. I can never find them on here. It doesn't look like it's a really old one, but I can't see the date on it. But it's like a burnt orange size 8 shift dress with a mandarin collar and a embroidered pieces on it. So it's very like Chinese style. It looks more orange than it is. It's a duller orange than showing on camera. But it's just really nice. Again, it's the sort of thing I would wear if it would fit me, but it won't. So it is one of the older labels. It is St. Michael if it'll focus because it's not doesn't want to play today no it doesn't want to play anyway what's that one and then there's this is by who's this one by i like this dress as well this is river island it's a size 14 and it's look at that dress it's got the panel down the middle so it's bodycon style but look at these straps this is just stunning so you can adjust the straps like you would a belt you've got a buckle there it's just very steampunk i think beautiful rose print long zip in fact the zip goes right down to the bottom absolutely stunning dress I think that's worth 15 to 20 pounds of anybody's money. It is just stunning. Just too small for me. Everything's too small for me. Next, there's not much left now. I've got one, two more after this one. This is just your little black dress. This is just a black dress. Again, this was only two pounds. This is by Next. Like I said, Next sells so well. It's a size 16, two pound again. Jennifer's got a piece of paper. And it's just a, a long, it's just a, it's just a dress. It's just a little black dress. It's quite like a jersey dress, but it's short sleeved. Well, three quarter sleeves. There's all this lacy ruffling on the front. So again, quite yeah. gothic style. Very nice. I know it's very hard for you to see these dresses like that. They are all the way down. Absolutely lovely. I love this. Next one, this one is a wash, as I did notice when I was paying for it, there are a couple of marks on it. It is by Monsoon, it's a size 14, but it's very hippie, very boho. It's grey, but it's got this lovely sort of embroidered front panel. It's got a belt, but I did notice when she was folding it up that there were a couple of marks on it. I'll have a proper look at it later. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's got it around the cuffs as well. I mean, it's lovely for two pounds. You wear that to a festival. It's quite jersey, but it's a bit flared. Not really flared, but it's a little bit of a flare. It's got this sort of like gathering around the waist for a very flattering look. There you see, a gathering. It's so hard to do this. 
my god kudos to those people who do this regularly because it's hard work especially with the little one but that was only two pound like i said it needs a wash i did notice some marks on it when i was paying yeah there's, yeah, there's a little mark there looks red there but um i should just pop that through the wash and see what comes out see how it comes out for two quid i'm not going to worry too much and the last one this is so nice I haven't looked to see if there's anything in this. It's probably just polyester or something, or acrylic. Um, I'm looking to see if there's a label. Probably is. So this was two quid as well. Here's the label. It probably surprised me. Be silk or something. No, it's polyester and elastane, but it is phase eight, and it's a nice phase eight. Now I've got a phase eight silk dress in my shop, but this one's got the ruching down the middle. It's got a rose pattern. Roses pattern, so it's pink with black roses. It's a size 12, so it's a decent size. It's not teeny, teeny, tiny. It's lined. It is just lovely. Again, I love these phase 8 dresses, and I would wear them if they would fit me. Stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? It's such a lovely baby pink with the grey and black roses. Well, that is everything I bought at Heart of Boot Sale. And at the charity shop this week, last weekend, I have got a few more items that I've bought, but I might go into a boot sale again on Sunday if it's shut down it doing. If so, I'll do another haul around this time next week, because Thursdays is the day that one of my sales is on. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I only bought one item from it on Tuesday. I bought about five or six today. So I might wait to do another haul next week with those items. I'm trying to get, I'm gonna try and get this lot done. Put that to one side for washing. I've got a few things that need washing, sadly. But it is what it is. We have to uh, make them look the best they can. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this little haul. So with the boot sale stuff, should I sell some of it? And if so, what bit should I sell? Um, and with the clothing, what do you think? Any nice pieces that, that you, you think should I should be selling for more than I've mentioned? Or I know I'm still pretty new to this. I only started reselling in October. So I've not been doing it very long. It's going okay. I'm, I'm not listing very much at the moment because I just haven't had the time. Because um, Jennifer now she's not in her normal car seat, doesn't fall asleep anymore. Unless I'm holding her. So she falls asleep in the car, but of course as soon as I get her out of her car seat, that's it. She's awake until I cuddle her and then she'll go back to sleep on me. So it's very difficult listing. Things are ticking over. I'm still, have, I'm still having a few sales. I sent out some offers to watchers today and I have had a sale on the back of that. So it's still ticking over. I'm not worried about anything at the moment. I'm covering my fees. I'm covering my cost of stock and postage and that's what matters really. So what will happen is I've got a day off in a couple of weeks and I'll be doing a mega load of listing then and I'm hoping to do some on Sunday. Uh, mainly because when Paul's home he can take her out for a walk if it's a nice day. And I can just crack on then. He has a bit of time with Jennifer and I, I do a bit of work. I don't mind working on a Sunday. I used to work in a factory. I used to work in supermarkets. I always work weekends and pubs and clubs. So doing a few hours on eBay or an hour on eBay on a Sunday is not a major issue to me or to Paul. He doesn't mind giving him time to spend with Jennifer. So that's it. That's everything I got. It's quite a lot of stuff to list there. And I, I mean, to be honest, I still got the last haul to list. And a haul I didn't show you in between because it wasn't as much. And some other, I got, I, I don't know how much I've got. Maybe about a hundred or so, more than a hundred items I would say. Which is good because the more the better. Let's get it listed. And it's all bread and butter stuff. If I can get the good quality stuff, the higher end stuff, I will pick it up. As long as it's not over expensive. But, you know, I can't go sorting this that day because we've got visitors come in. Um, I said there is a boot sale on Sunday, so I will have a look. Last time I went to this particular boot sale, I did pick up a load of clothes for a pound each and some nice stuff as well. Uh, so, but it's not listed. So Andy, you need to get a list in. Give me a kick up the bum. So I am going to stop Jennifer from banging her head a minute because she's going to if she's not careful. I'll see you next week with another haul. I am currently reading a couple of books to review for those of you who are into that. As soon as I get a chance, I will do a colour and catch up because I haven't done one for so long. It's very hard filming with a baby, but I'll do another video about that later. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this haul and I will see you all soon.